I don't believe my neighbors here in Jacksonville, my hometown since birth, have any idea how much trouble they are in, all of us in America are in. To my mind, we're in a, a period of crisis. I mean, the big question in the U.S. today is, why do they hate us? Well, that's a damn good question to be asking. It's an interesting question because when I first went to the Mideast in, 19, in 1951, we were worshipped. We were looked at as the country of the only non-imperial great power. Nobody hates the Americans. People certainly resent American policy. We're in a deep hole because we're so heavily biased in favor of Israel, and the whole world knows it, and they're astounded by it. They can't, they can't comprehend why America, with its great cherished traditions, would close its eyes to the dreadful punishment that we have enabled Israel to inflict on virtually defenseless people. We saw that what the Israelis had done was lock the doors of, of several classrooms that were on the second story and then throw in tear gas canisters in so that the kids panicked and when they finally got out, jumped over the, the balcony there and landed on an asphalt uh, area below, breaking many legs. Anybody who's lived any amount of time in the Middle East begins to see the other side of it, I think. I was arrested nine times, so I have been repeatedly arrested and harassed. The first time I was arrested, I was 15 years old. The norm was physical torture. I mean, you, you get physically tortured until you faint, and then they will splash water in your face and start again. And that Israel calls moderate physical pressure. To me, it didn't look as moderate. I think if Americans decided they want to support Israel, they want a congressman who supports Israel, I mean, obviously, it's a free country, and they're perfectly free to decide that. But they don't know that that's what they're supporting. And, and I think that's the problem. Israel and the lobby. Um, or Israel through the lobby are really running our policies. In fact, it's worse now than it's ever been before. We have a, a White House that's totally dominated by Israelis. It's sad that the, that the Amer Americans who are so concentrated on helping Israel, they don't give a hoot, so far as I'm concerned, about whether it hurts the United States or not. Israel uh, and her present policies and the Sharon policies are undermining American security, they're undermining American policy. I spoke with the head military lawyer for the IDF, Joel Zinger, and I said, you know, I spent two weeks here and it's clear you people are inflicting Nuremberg crimes on the Palestinians, exactly what the Nazis did to the Jews. What's your explanation? He said, uh, military necessity. Notice, he, he didn't disagree with me. I said, uh, that argument was rejected at Nuremberg when the lawyers for the Nazis made it. So then he said, uh, well, we have public relations people in the United States, and they handle these matters for us. Arabs and Muslims have to be made to look bad in America, and America has to be made to look bad to them. It is not too difficult to understand that bad things are going to happen to Israel, which I do not wish to see. Bad things are going to happen to the Palestinians. I don't want to see that either. And bad things are going to happen to the Americans, and that, above all, is what I wish to avoid seeing.